Hey everyone, Max from Ionic here. I'm super excited to share with you a new feature that we recently launched in Ionic App Scripts and also a sneak peek of an upcoming feature that is similar but different that I think you're going to love and that I'm incredibly excited about. So first of all, before I get into it, Ionic App Scripts, it is our new build script package. And if you're familiar with, with how we used to ship a gulp file with Ionic 1 and Ionic 2 for a bit, Ionic App Scripts basically takes that gulp file in, you know, in theory and makes it an NPM package. So we can update it separately from all your projects. We can work on it without having to like tell you to up create new projects and all this stuff. And we introduced this with RC0 and it was, frankly, we had some other problems with it and I'm really sorry about, about that. But uh, the really cool thing about it, and we had this vision for App Scripts, was once we kind of got you know, everything and, and all the apps using it, we could update and add really cool new features to the Ionic build chain without having to have you guys do anything except NPM itself. So we're starting to really hit our stride, adding tons of cool new features into the build chain. And uh, here are some of the really cool ones. So uh, right now, when we, with, with the recent release of App Scripts, we added build feedback. And basically what that means is when I'm working on my app and I'm writing stuff like, OK, I add a console log here and I save, I'll get a toast. My app is building. And this is basically feedback from the app script server saying that we transpiled, we bundled with Webpack, we're good to go. So it's nice to kind of know while I'm working that um, you know everything is, is working underneath, you know? Like the, the universe is, is all right. So every time I save, I get a build update. Um, and, and so that's, that's cool. So this works for SAS. HTML and TypeScript, which is fun. So I love the new build feedback, uh, but the cool thing is too, is if you mess something up, you'll get even more feedback. So let's say I go into my login page and I just do window.blah. It's not valid TypeScript. Window is not a type that exists. Blah is not a type on window. Um, so you'll notice I got this really cool error feedback. Basically, App Scripts is telling me that there's a TypeScript error. It went and highlighted the line in the file, told me where the file is, and then also printed me diagnostic information about what version of Ionic Framework I'm using, what version of Ionic Native, et cetera, et cetera. So this helps you pinpoint errors and also copy and paste and either file an issue in your tracker or, you know, God forbid it's an actual Ionic bug, file it on our issue report. So. Uh, this should really help you kind of narrow down issues without having to go, oh, I've got to go back to my CLI and look. OK, there's an error here, and then translate it. It's all within the development flow. You never have to leave your app. So we can close that if we want and kind of get back to work. So that's build time errors. And this also works for not only TypeScript, but SAS. So let's say I have an actual SAS error. Um, if something's not valid, SAS, I immediately get feedback that this property needs to be followed by uh, a colon or something, I guess, whatever. It doesn't make any sense because it's not valid. Um, immediate SAS feedback for errors. Uh, I can also do it for templates, too. So if I miss a tag in a template, uh, I'll get a runtime error that this template parse error. So uh, Angular 2 is a little more strict about templates. So this is really helpful because some, sometimes You'll have an error like this. You'll refresh. You'll have a blank screen, and you won't know what's going on. You're, you've been frustrated by it. Trust us. We've been frustrated by that, so we're fixing it. One more really cool thing. This hasn't been launched yet. Hasn't been launched yet. We're, we're launching it in the next app scripts and the next Ionic because you need to add some code to Ionic to override Angular's error handler. But let's say you have an actual runtime error. This is an error that isn't caught during build time. So TypeScript doesn't know that it's an actual error. Uh, it's, it's happening at runtime. And for example, let's do window as any. So it becomes an any type. And we try to run a function on it. It's valid TypeScript, but it doesn't run. So before, as many of you know, you would get this wonderful blank screen and be like, you know, what's going on? This is like so annoying. I don't know what's going on, especially if that's happening in an app on your phone. Like you'll have a blank screen and not know why. So now we'll actually tell you why. It's because window.blah is not a function, dude. And then you'll go and fix it. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, we, With this change coming, we'll have both 
build feedback, build errors, and runtime errors. And this is something we're going to continue to improve, but I hope it saves you a ton of time. And you'll notice, like, I haven't had to leave this session at all. I've got my text editor here, and I've got my login page over here. Uh, we're just really trying to make all your development stuff super agile so you can work really quickly, get things done really quickly. Uh, that's what we're all about. So stay tuned for this, and let me know what you think about the build errors, uh, and I hope to get this in your hands soon. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. One extra thing that's coming soon as well uh, is a debug menu. So we've got this cool new debug menu that, like, let's say you just kind of need to refresh your app. This isn't as useful in the, in the browser, obviously, because I just have a reload button or a refresh button. But in an app, you can actually shake your phone, and this debug menu will pop up and you re reload your app. So we're going to be adding more stuff to that menu. But that'll be a really fast way to kind of quickly, like, OK, something's not right, or I made a change, and I just need to reload it. Uh, so that's really cool. That's all I got. Bye.